wanted to talk about my True Smile veneers. I don't want to make this video too long because honestly I can talk about them for an hour. So in the description box below, you can check out my full review about the True Smile veneers on my blog. I will be going in depth about everything that you have to know about these teeth, including ordering them, how the molding process works, how long the shipping process works, how all that takes, and the actual teeth, how to put them in, how to take care of them, everything. Everything will be in my blog. So if you have any questions, everything literally will be linked in my blog post and I will be going in depth about these teeth. These teeth are very thin and barely weigh anything. I was surprised that they do not fall out of my mouth. They're actually very sturdy and are in there very well. They are not gonna fall out. Do not be afraid that they will fall out. When you put them on, you'll kind of feel like a pop that they are stuck to your teeth and they will, there's no way that these will come off unless you actually physically remove them. So when you first order your True Smile Veneers Impressions Kit, you are going to get a little box. I wish I would have it here to demonstrate, but I actually sent it back to the lab already when I first did my impressions. But I do have a few leftover pieces that I'm going to show you guys now. So when you first get your kit, you are going to be getting these trays in different sizes. So the first time I did my impressions, they came out terrible. As you can see, this is one of my first molds that I did and it came out horrible. But this is just a great example to show you guys what to expect when you get your impression kits and how to use them. In the impression kits, you will be getting these small tubes. Each of them has a different color of clay. So you open them up and then you mold both colors of clay together until you get this beautiful color, which is like this light orange. Once you have that, you're going to roll it into a snake-like tube and keep rolling it with your fingers, making sure it's thick. All of this, by the way, will be in my blog post in detail, so make sure to check that out if you're a little confused. Then you want to roll it into your impressions tray after you have already measured the impressions tray to your mouth. When you get your True Smile Veneers kit, it's going to come with three sized impression trays, small, medium, and large. So put each one into your mouth and kind of feel which one is the most comfortable. Um, if you have smaller mouth like me, you're going to probably be a size small to medium. If you have a larger mouth and larger teeth, you're going to need a size large or a medium. So play around with the sizes and decide which one is the best fit for you. So for me, it was small and medium and for my bottom and top rows, I used different sizes and I sent both to the lab so that they can decide which was the perfect impression. After you mold your two colors of clay together that come in these small tubes, you're going to roll it in your hands until you get this orangey color and then you're going to place it right here into your mold. Once you do that, you're going to stick it directly up into your mouth and press down hard for a minute. Do not move for a minute. Just keep pressing it until you feel that your teeth cannot touch the bottom anymore. You don't want them to feel the plastic, but you want them to kind of feel the bottom of the mold. And then once your minute is up, you're going to take it out of your mouth straight down and then your impression is complete, let it dry, put it back in the packaging, and send it off to True Smile Veneer. So the first time that I did this, I did not succeed at all, and the lab had to send my impressions back to me because I messed up so bad. A few tricks that I learned is to make sure that you are putting your impression kit directly into your mouth straight. If you're going up, make sure you put it like literally like straight at this angle, just up into your mouth and hold it there for a minute and then take it out just the same. I feel like the first time I did it, I was kind of going at an angle to make it more comfortable for me, but it's not about comfort. It's all about making sure your impressions are perfect. It's literally a minute. It'll go by so fast. Just make sure that you're doing this correctly so that when you send it back to the lab, everything will be fine and your teeth will get to you quicker. When you're done with your impressions, all you have to do is send them back to the lab and then wait for them to be completed. For me, it took about two to three weeks for them to be done. I'm pretty sure that it won't take long for you, but it also depends on what state you live in or what part of the world you live in. Check out TrueSmileVeneers.com to look at their shipping policies to find out how long it will take for your teeth to get to you. Another thing about ordering your teeth is that when you order them and after you're done with your impressions, you can easily call or email True Smile and tell them a little bit of details about how you want your teeth to look like. You can simply email or call True Smile and tell them your preference. Also, when you get your order form, you can also fill that out and write little details that you want about your teeth. Like, for example, you can also change the color you want. I have my teeth in the brightest white, but you can get yours in a more natural white or their naturalist color. They have, I believe, three colors you can choose from, so make sure when you're ordering them you put all that detail into place so that when your teeth get here you are perfectly happy with them. So these teeth will be molded perfectly to your mouth and will fit 
beautifully like I had no problem with mine and I know a lot of people who didn't have problems with theirs. At one of these cases they come with your teeth so don't be afraid that this is an extra charge it's not they come with your teeth and they give you the option of getting them in black or white. I got mine in black because I felt like they're gonna be in my purse all day anyway and white would get dirty too fast but either way you can pick whatever color you would like and they are just a little case like this and inside they have a mirror so that you can put your teeth on and then a place to put your teeth. This has everything you need in them from taking care of them to a guide to everything. It even has your customer number on the side but I'm not going to show you that part. When you open it up it'll look like this. You're going to get a care instruction guide and I love how they added this into it so that you know exactly how to take care of your teeth. Of course, you get your keeping tray so that you can keep your teeth nice and safe and your teeth will also come delivered in this. You also get brushing soap so that when your teeth get dirty, you can wash them with this. For example, if you get lipstick on your teeth, food on your teeth, if you just put them somewhere like unclean or you want to just give them a wash a little bit you can use this soap which is safe on the teeth and it also comes with a soft toothbrush so when you first get your teeth and you first put them on they will feel kind of weird you won't be able to really talk in them like perfectly but after wearing them for about two weeks you will learn to adapt to them your voice will learn to adapt to them your teeth are so thin that they will not bother your speech as much as you think they will you may feel like they're annoying or painful a little bit. They're not like, you know, excruciating pain, but you may feel a little bit of pressure in your teeth. But that is normal. If you wear these teeth for about a week or two, your mouth and everything will come adjust to them. It's kind of like you're putting a foreign object into your mouth and you're not used to them yet. So make sure that you practice talking with these on before you just go out in public and just start speaking with them. The one thing I do not like about these teeth is the fact that I have to take them out every time I eat. You are allowed to drink anything you want with these teeth on, but I can't, you cannot eat anything with them. They're so soft and so thin that they wouldn't be able to chew up food. So it's not safe to eat in these, so you have to remove them every time. I just, just, I just go to the bathroom, take them off, put them in my tray, put them in my purse, eat food, and then of course go back to the bathroom to wash my hands, put my teeth back on, and then continue about my business. It's not that big of a hassle, but sometimes if you're at a cocktail party or something like that and they have little hors d'oeuvres, you can't really eat unless you take all of your teeth off. Overall, I feel like these teeth look super natural, they're comfortable, and they really, really did help me achieve my goal of just getting my teeth to be a little bigger and brighter. So if you have any problems with your smile and you feel uncomfortable with your smile and you don't want to commit to having veneers yet, then you should try these. Definitely, you should really, really try these because I feel like they changed my life and they really did help me and benefit me in my career and my craft. And they may help you with, you know, just your self-confidence and I feel like self-confidence is the most important thing that you need on a daily basis so if your smile is bothering you definitely check these out if you are not ready to commit to full-time veneers for the rest of your life that will you know cannot be removed thank you guys so much for watching this video and again if you guys have any question make sure you check the description box down below because I will have the full blog post there with all the details and all the questions you may have about these teeth and true smile veneers and all their information will be down below as well Thank you guys so much for watching again.